Hey everybody, Annette Knack here. I wanted to hop on, record a quick message for you. I just got a little gut punch from one of my clients. Um, I work with uh, people of a lot of different abilities, capabilities, illnesses, and all that. Really interesting stuff that keeps me on my toes. And this is a woman who had a pretty big health scare and is coming out on the other side of it. And she was with a group of people recently, a support group of hers. and. Um, they started talking to her about being healthy and finding her new normal. And I think we can all relate to that because we've all either seen people who have been ill or have had to have surgeries or anything where that really requires them to take a better look at their health and what they've been doing. And as she's telling me this story, she started telling me about how the question came up of, so now that you're getting healthier and you're making these empowered decisions about being you know exactly where you need to be who you need to be with getting the food the exercise and the support that you need you have the opportunity to really be able to make this dramatic change in your life and part of it requires giving yourself permission to be healthy and the interesting thing about permission is that growing up you know we need to get permission you know when you're in school can I you know use the bathroom that was the one I remember when I was little and a lot of it was um, permission from your parents. I want to go spend time with my friends. Can I do? And they would say yes or no. So I think a lot of what we've been programmed to do is to ask for permission. And when she was listening to her support group and they said, you have to give yourself permission to be healthy, it's really interesting because you look at that going like, well, I never really thought of it that way unless you have someone who is able to actually give you that kind of space. So I hear this from her and I got a little gut punch because I think I've been waiting for someone to give me permission to make progress in my own life, whether it's around my health or around my career. And I'm a coach and I've been a coach for a long time and I work with people in the fitness industry. And I think we all wait for someone to say, it's your turn, you can go, you can do it, you can have whatever you want, you can look however you want, you can feel however you want. But there's still that little you know, voice in the back of my head saying, well, no, maybe, maybe you need to get permission. And it's, it's scary because I think we would be so much more empowered and able to get where we want in life if we could just actually step back and say, hey, I give myself permission to be who I am, to do what I want, to have the help that I need and get the support that you really need. So that's my quick message for today that um, I'm at the point where giving myself permission is huge and I've given myself permission to be where I am and to really kind of enjoy, you know, what I'm doing and to be able to enjoy making decisions about my life, about my health that I really want to do. And um, I think it's time that maybe you could do the same for yourself. So do you give yourself permission? Who are you looking for to give you permission to do what you want? And at the end of the day, do you really need someone else's validation to give you that permission or can you just give it to yourself? So. That's the question I want to leave with you today. Who do you need to get permission from? Is it someone? Is it something? Is it another place? Or are you ready to just grab it and say, hey, I, I give it to myself. I'm taking it for myself, period. End of story. No questions asked. So have a great day and uh, think about that. You know, for me, it was a gut punch. It was a little bit of a reality check. So maybe you need yours today, too. Have a great day. Enjoy and uh, think about that. Permission, yes or no? Is it you or is it someone else? And I hope, hope you say it too. Okay, bye bye.